Okay, time for Pet Pals now. We're joined with Max Bostein of the Animal Foundation, and today we're meeting Roxy. Yes, All I right. love this pup. She is yeah. so sweet. And for some reason, you know, she's been at the shelter since August. Oh, geez. Okay, and yeah, yeah a long time there. Can't figure out why. You know, yeah. she's great with other dogs and play groups. She knows all of her, you know, basic commands and everything. Right. She's just a big snuggle pup. She just wants to be next to you. Aw, look at her. Yeah. Roxy with an eye. <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. She just look, looks adoring, adoringly at so you. So sweet. And she has, look, I think, she, you'll see it soon, but she has one sock. One white foot, oh, how and it's funny. just adorable. Yeah, very cute. I, I saw her sitting. So you said she knows her commands. She does. Yeah, oh she's gosh. really good at that. Um, she's in our uh, training program, so she works with one of our staff members on the daily uh, to get those, you know, the basics down. And then in play group, she's oh, she's fantastic. She just yeah. makes friends with everybody. She's very curious. She walks well on a leash. I'm curious. How many? Um, this is how many pets do you think? Because I know that when I got Dr. Feinberg mm -hmm. from uh, from a, the shelter, she had a different name. Yeah, I changed it. Yeah, how many do you think change it? A lot, I would say. Yeah, because um, some of the times, like if we know the name, if there's a microchip involved, we'll keep the name that the pet knows. Right, so it it's easier to train and stuff. Okay, um, but a lot of times, if we don't know, we're kind of just making up a silly name to right. kind of make them stand oh, out. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I don't know too many people that would have like a meatball or a right, you know, <laughs> right, right. And maybe it's the younger ones, yeah. the, the younger pets that don't really know the name. An older one, you probably should keep the name that they have because exactly. they'll they'll, yeah. they'll, they'll yeah. come to you. The reason I even the reason I mention it. I think if that was my dog, I would name I would name him Michael Jackson. That's perfect because of the, the glove. one white glove. The one white glove. I love it. Is it yeah. on the right hand too? I forget. The I white, didn't. The yeah, right I paw. Uh. I forgot. But yes, or I didn't see. But yes, no, for sure. Um, okay, so it's really busy there still, and it is. and the, and the hall. We got through Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. but now we got the big ones coming mm -hmm. up. So yeah. you, what's what are you guys up to? So um, you know, we're always looking for fosters. If you're not ready to adopt, you can always open your home for a couple of days, couple of weeks. Um, okay. That always helps the pups. Uh, you know, just get a break from the shelter and all that. But also through uh, the 17th of December, we have another Bissell uh, Empty the Shelters adoption event going on. Okay. And so every pet in the shelter that's over six months old is going to have that adoption fee waived. Okay. And then, yeah, just come on in and we'll, we'll set you up. We'll find the right one for you. Remind me why it's Bissell. Um, so the Bissell Pet Foundation. Okay. Um, Kathy Bissell founded that. Oh, okay. Um, and it's one of the biggest um, philanthropic you know, um, endeavors out there to just help shelter pets find oh, a home. Okay, cool. I didn't know. I forgot because you mentioned this before, but yes. I forgot if it was the the vacuum company, which of course would be very uh, handy for pet fur, but that's even better. Exactly. Yeah, so it's fitting. Good for Kathy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, good. And then of course, if you adopt Roxy, you'll get the free pet bed courtesy of Best Mattress. But yeah, get out there uh, for that special deal um, for the adoption fees waived. Yes. All right. Thanks, Max. We appreciate it.